Hi there, Sagittarius. Welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of April the 20th through to the 26th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Saggy. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Hierophant in the upright, followed then by the Six of Pentacles upright. And next we have the Two of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by the Queen of Cups upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the Hermit in reverse. So for your overall energy, we have that of the Hierophant in the upright position. Well, it could be some of you are dealing with a Taurus. <laughs> Others of you could just be um, making a serious commitment this week. Some of you could be committing to a relationship, a serious commitment could be going on for some of you. Others of you could be committing to a a new spiritual or religious community. Others of you could be um, committing to a term position with the government or something like that. Uh, making a serious commitment to a, even to perhaps uh, your own uh, business. Maybe some of you are going into business with yourself and you're committing yourself wholeheartedly to uh, this. Maybe you're going into business with a Taurus. <laughs> Whatever the situation is, Sagittarius, it looks like there's a heavy potential for commitment looming around you this week. Coming right off the hop, we have the Six of Pentacles in the upright position. This points to fairness and balance and equality. Uh, it could be generosity, generosity coming towards you from, say, the bank. Um, if you need a bank loan, uh, there's could be, it could be from uh, family members or a friend or something like that. Perhaps they're being generous with you or you could be needing to be generous with them. Um, also, too, in terms of a relationship, perhaps if the fairness and balance lost uh, was lost at some point, uh, there's it is returning now to the relationship. And it's paired up here with the two of pentacles in the upright position. This is harmony in the midst of change. This is balancing. Some of you are balancing your checkbooks. Others of you could be balancing this new commitment, something that you are now committed to, along with whatever your regular duties were. So, but there's harmony here. There's harmony in the midst of change. Others of you could be juggling, perhaps you're dating two different people, but you know, you're single freewheeling, you're doing so um, very easily. <laughs> and uh, whatever the situation is here, Sagittarius, if it's your finances that you're juggling, uh, it looks like it's going to balance well. If it's a, a new commitment, it looks like it's going to balance well. Whatever the situation is, remember these are just general reads, so it's going to be different for all of you. Now moving towards the weekend, we do see the Queen of Cups here in the upright position. This is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is water energy, that of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Now it could be this is a love interest for you. Um, this person could be extremely emotionally well-balanced, um, could be very... Uh, even emotional towards you, the Queen of Cups can express, unlike the King of Cups can express uh, her emotions. Um, it could be that you're dealing with somebody who's being very emotional, but they're mature about it. If the card was reversed, they could be, you know, sort of getting overly emotional or kind of losing it. But when the um, the card is in the upright, this person is, is uh, it could be a friend, it could be a relative, could be your significant other. This person is standing on strong emotional ground, but could be, you know, expressing their emotions to you, or you could be expressing your emotions to them. And the last card up is uh, the Virgo card here, the Hermit in the reverse position. So you could be dealing with the Virgo here. Um, the Virgo, uh, the Virgo, the Hermit in the reverse position points to a return to action. I have noticed I've been seeing that a lot. It's a big theme with all the signs this week where there's a lot more movement um, going on. This is a return to action. The Hermit in the upright position can point to sort of solitary uh, action and studying and just sort of going within. When the card is reversed, there's no longer any need to do that. It could indicate a little bit more sociable energy. It could indicate moving forward on uh, some things that were stuck from before. Now you're able to move towards them. It's a return to action. So it's a really good reading here. It looks like you're going to be making some kind of big commitment. You'll definitely have to leave a comment in the comment section below if it resonated for you. 
But that is your reading. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.